Look what it is. Look, my hands are free. What are we doing to the towel? And y'all haven't seen it in a while. I still have it, but we're gonna address this, 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 all of the trim, side mirrors. We're gonna address, not the hood. Uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna address the wiper cowl, which is actually sitting over here on the floor. The wipers, both arms, and we're gonna buy new blades for them, of course. And then we're gonna address the wing that is sitting over there. I just watched back what you guys saw and I had to lower the camera a little bit, but nevertheless, and the noise you hear is my necklace on the microphone, sorry. But I had started this and I was like, you know what? I need to post a YouTube video and here I am. So I just took some red scotch, scotch pad, scotch right, And basically I'm just roughing the surface a little bit. As you can see, this is actually the way it was when I, when I got the car, it was just kind of this fade in this here. They don't want to regular black. The shininess you see down here is the uh, PB blaster because this joker was seized to that damn spindle. I might not have wipers after this because I was just hammering the crap out of it and it finally let loose. So nevertheless, we give it a little scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, rough up the surface a little bit. Don't be afraid to like bend this and, and get in little creases and grooves and whatnot. Just get it all nice and flat, nothing shiny. Jesus, always having a good time. What up guys, we are back and I made my little makeshift. I just recorded all this, but um, I didn't have the microphone so I had to go get it. But that's my little makeshift paint booth and we're gonna be using Trim Black today, 39143. Uh, two to three medium wet coats, three to five minutes between quote coats, quotes, coats. And that's gonna get this thing back to a OEM looking gloss, not gloss, Trim Black. So I got my little scrubby here. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up. And this is all we're like, literally, like I said, guys, it is gonna be a soapy water base. And then I have a spray bottle that's just gonna rinse it down. I'm not really concerned if the wall gets wet, obviously, it doesn't really matter. And I'm not concerned if the paper gets wet, obviously, or painted on, obviously. Um, and I'm also not concerned if the wall gets black because it's already black. So it is what it is on that part. Um, the only thing I am not really concerned, but I'm gonna try to avoid is the light bar up top getting paint. So um, the soapy water is Dawn dish soap and just soapy water. And all we're doing is just rubbing it all the way through just to get all of that oil and grease off from the years of buildup. And then I have a spray bottle that I'm gonna have to rinse out here with some pure straight water. And there you go. While we're waiting on this, I'm gonna take this moment to talk about our sponsor. And we're back, as you can tell, I don't have a sponsor. So, uh, we're letting it air dry a little bit more. I did just wipe it down with a clean rag. Uh, you can see the dryness versus the wetness. So, I let this air dry, it's still dripping. So, all right, I ended up doing the wiper blade or wiper arms and just cleaned those up as well. As you can see, I did air dry it or blow dry it and pressure, pressure. Pr I sped up the process of drying, okay? Okay, shake this for about a good minute. And again, it does say three to five medium wet coats. So don't go heavy, don't go too light, medium wet. What is medium wet? I have no idea, but we're gonna go for it. And that's that's one coat. I don't like it, I can tell you that right now. It's kind of splotchy and it could be because I didn't prep it right, but we're gonna see this through, my boy. If it don't come out right the first time, guess what? We'll get another one. Uh, the runs are kind of there, but they're kind of fading away, so it's working out pretty well. But let's go ahead and get another coat in. 30, we'll wait for four minutes and we'll shoot again. All right, well, wipers are done, cowl is done. This, the drip rail is halfway done. Uh, to take this off, I should have did a little how to take it off, but to take it off is super simple. Um, you don't have to take off this rubber gasket, I just did just to be whatever. Um, all you have to do is just pull the thicker uh, door gasket down and you'll expose all the screws so from here one two and then all the way across there's like a series of what 10 12 take them all across and then once you do that you kind of have to wiggle it out a little bit the longer trim which is that one right there that goes across the door it's going to come out first don't take them off together because yeah that's going to come off first and then you can wiggle and actually like pull this down because it's like attached in there with some clips 
they're not even clips, they're just like slide pins, but they're just attached in there and they just kind of sandwich this little pinch well right here. What I did was try multiple different types of sanding to get this done. I ended up using a polisher with a six inch backing plate on a six inch foam pad with a 180 grit sandpaper. It got extremely hot in my hands, but you know what? It got the job done. Um, it is perfectly fine. I did the whole thing with it. There is some here. My little, um, this is how I'm doing it guys. This is a little screw in there holding it up. My little, my little makeshift paint booth here is kind of coming in handy. But anyways, get this completely smooth, as smooth as you can get it. I did a 180, came back with the 320 red scrub pad. I'm sorry, 360 scrub pad. And then I finished it off with a 800 to smooth it out to make it really smooth. All right, I completely lied. Um, it, 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 so you can see in here, it's not terrible. And I think I can get that cleaned up pretty well. Um, aside from where it came from, I think it's gonna look great. But nevertheless, that's two coats I put on here. One more coat's gonna come right now. And then once that dries out, then we're gonna come back with the satin and then we're gonna kind of get this a little bit of a sheen. I'm done. All right, so I've, I've been moving. As you can see, wiper cowl is completely black now. It was red, now it's black. That trim is done. Wiper cowl is done, the underside of it. Cause I thought about it. If I put the wiper cowl on, it's gonna show red from the bottom up. So I was like, let me just go ahead and knock that out now. So the engine bay is gonna go um, silver, but I want that to be black. And then once I get everything back on, like the hood and everything else, I will situate the silver at that point in time. And we're done. It's not gonna be that glossy, it's gonna satin itself out, but we're done with that. We'll go ahead and take off the paper, tape and paper, and see where we're at. Again, we're gonna take our newly painted cow. There's some dents in there that I just can't get out. It is what it is. Yeah, I should be able to see that. It is what it is. Slide it in ever so gently. Not really, you can kind of just throw it in there if you want to, but I'm gonna do ever so gently. Put the gasket where it belongs, line up the holes, and now underneath is black. It's no longer red. Same thing over here, line it up, gasket's in, oops, gasket's in, done. Now we can take this, remove these, and then we can clean this up and get some double sided state, uh, tape. All right, wiper cowls are on. Wiper blades are on, wiper arms are on, it's bolted down. I need to get some blades. It ain't raining anytime soon. If you're wondering what's in my hand, I was gonna take the side mark or the side mirrors to the paint shop and get them painted satin black, but I ain't gonna do that. I, I ain't gonna worry about it. Go ahead and just, I just disassembled it myself. The mirror right there, this is gonna be the motor for this mirror. So this is just a hollow piece, as you can see here. It's just hollow in there being held up by two screws, which I think is sufficient enough. This wall is amazing. This rubber trim you see right here, this rubber trim you see right here is gonna be the actual uh, rubber piece that goes along this. That's done and freshened up. Remember, don't worry about this too much. The hood hinges are right there on that box. I painted them satin black so they can go back onto here. The underside of the hood, I'm actually gonna get that satin black. Um, instead of silver, I'm gonna keep that satin black, but everything else in here is gonna go silver. I haven't drained the cooling yet, but we're gonna get to that. I have some things coming tomorrow that's gonna remove this trim so I can so I don't break it too much. I'm gonna remove this trim, refreshing that trim. I'm gonna get this rail right here refreshed. I'm gonna get the rear quarter panel refreshed, and then we're gonna start on the door jams probably by Thursday, maybe Friday. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but this, I gotta get, this is a lot of work I gotta do to this car before I even get to the Z. So I'm not gonna worry about the Z right now. I'm gonna worry more so on this car. Gotta get that radiator cleaned up and fixed. Gotta get this engine bay from red to silver. And then I have to get the new underglow on the car because that's coming in as well. So we got a lot of things, a lot of moving parts right now. But I'm gonna get this video ended for today. Let you guys see what I got going on. I don't know I'm just holding on to this motor like it's prize possession it is actually um i'm gonna end the video here guys make sure you like comment subscribe be sure to check in 
turn on the bell notifications. I'm gonna do another video right after this one. Um, I'm done, I'm not done for the night, but I'm done for the video. So catch y'all later. I just hit my head.